So this is our iPad 9.7. Uh, one of the previous generations we have made it and used it just to show you up all the best functionality we have provided. The application is also available for any device you need, like an, any Android device or any Apple tablet. Please note, I'm using not an Apple Pencil, but a simple Adonit stylus. So as a result, you can use your iPad with the inkset notes with any stylus you wish. Firstly, when you come up to the application, you will see a pretty simple welcome tour guide. This is some sort of a tutorial on what should you do with uh, an application, how could you use it, what does it take and what does it have in it. After that, when we, you are going to app, you have a full availability of all the documents near your applications that you have previously created. It is possible to create a new document with a quick note, with a new document note, to import a document or to scan it from a prepared file. Also, note the categories. You can create a new category. For example, I really love different recipes of pizza. I love a lot of pizza and as a result I collect the recipes. So here we have it. Recipes of pizza. I can select, for example, the documents that will be inside it. Some of these and this one and maybe this. I can choose the color, let it be a yellow one and I can create a category. So when I come into the category, I will have all my documents inside and I will have a possibility to create a new document inside it. Also, there is a special category of favorite documents and you can add up any document to it you wish. Coming next, when we are talking about the documents, you can search for the doc document by the title. So for example, let me find all the documents here and here we have three different docs. And now let me create a new document, let it be a quick note. And here is a document menu that we will have to edit. For example, I can enter some text here or to write down with a simple, uh, simple pencil. So that's a pretty simple. I can write here that I love pizza a lot. I can select the density of the pencil I'm writing with. So for example, the pizza can be written like this. And what does it take to create a beautiful and delicious pizza? Well, usually it is some sort of ingredients. But you know, it is a little bit uncomfortable for me to write all the things with a such kind of paper. So I'm pressing the edit document and I'm selecting, for example, a ruled paper, pressing the save changes, and this is much better for me to use. I can zoom it up and here I can write the recipe of my best pizza ever. So we're gonna need some tomatoes. We're gonna need some I suppose maybe ananas or maybe something else. Let's check it out. So I'm gonna write on ananas and let's add something more. For example, I don't really know what should it be. Let it be pickles. Okay, pickles. Maybe I should add something more and anything else. So it is pretty easy for me to add the things I want to have and to write down anything I want. I can zoom the things down and for example I can write a perfect illustration of how my perfect pizza has to look like. So I'm pressing the pick, I'm writing it like this. There would be a, just a perfect pizza pie chart. And then I'm selecting the color of the marker, let it be a custom one, for example the orange, like maybe this one, yeah, custom. Okay, I'm adding it to my colors, I'm selecting it, press the pick button and let's select the density and color it up. Okay, so now I have the coloring of my perfect pizza pie chart. I'm writing it and let's just add some more density 
and select a few more details to use. We're gonna press the pick button. Let's try it again. Press the pick button and select several pizza tomatoes I want to add. Okay, so this is some sort of a thing I have added. I have made it a perfect recipe to be made into my perfect dish. So now I can add uh, another one page, for example. I can add, make some more pages. I can select the previous pages. I write something here or something there. It's possible to create a new page and to use all the tools I have. Also, if it is needed, I can open up the calendar to use some functionality here to come back to this and to add, for example, a little bit more handwritten text. So let me do something like that. I'm gonna enter something like I love Inksat right here because it's really true. So I love Inksat is gonna be right here. It's much easier to press with finger, I suppose. Okay. Okay, and now I can press it where I want it to be. It'll be like, like this. I'm gonna change the font the way it is centered, maybe like this. Let's make it bold a little and save it. And what I have left to do is to maybe add some selection to make my text is as a fully perfect one. So I'm gonna add some cloud texting and I'm gonna select another one instrument and like this. Let's press the pick button, select the density and draw it over. Okay, it looks just perfect one. Just to maybe I don't really like this writing. I'm sorry guys, but it's true. So I have just to delay it a little. So to delay it, I'm gonna use the eraser and just erase with any density I have. Pretty simple, pretty easy, pretty obvious thing to do with. Okay, I think that I'm done with this one. And then I just have to come back. I want to save this document, yes. And here I'm having it at another one I entitled document. Also, it is possible to import a new document if, for example, I want to enter some sort of PDF, let it be this one. So I'm just having a new PDF document. It has opened up pretty fast. I can zoom it. It is having a lazy loading, so the text changes pretty fast. And for example, if I want to add some notes to it, for example, I'm reading over the document and I want to kind of let it be select some text again. I'm gonna press the right here. I'm gonna pick the right color. And I'm just gonna zoom up for this page. Okay, now I can also erase some materials and actually this is, won't be a problem for me to use it over. There is a great amount of different functionality too. So, for example, I don't want to save this document, so I'm praying, pressing no or yes. I'm having the updated documents. And for example, if I'm coming back to my super pizza doc, like this one, I can mark it as my favorite. And now, if I'm coming back to the categories and to the favorite one, I'm opening it. I can, for example, mark it as a simple one or to try to edit this one again. So there is a great bunch of functionality here. For example, I can use up the lasso tool and to make anything I want with it, to make it smaller, to make it bigger, bigger or anything else. It is, was developed in the previous apps, but here we have made it everything different as it was. So you can make anything you want. You can make some sketches, you can make some architecture and engineering patterns or blueprints. You can use it for study, you can use it for work, for anything you wish to have it. And you can easily update the documents you want. So it goes something like this. Thank you for your attention. And just as it with written gets written, let me pick this color and let me finish up this presentation beautifully. So, thanks. By the way, it works not just with the stylus, but with the finger too. So there is no problem with doing some things like this. Thanks again.